Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and today I'll be doing a different video different from the usual ones that I make. Today I just want to share with you my most favorite tutorials. Actually, I think this video is not really enough to fit in all my favorite tutorials and of course we're talking about my tutorials, alright? So even if I'm the one making the videos, I still have some favorites because these paintings actually um, help me to learn a new skill or just I, I just like the painting um, as is all right so let's begin now I'll be showing you I think 10 or 11 I'm not really sure um, I'm not really sure about the number maybe we'll, we'll go for 12 maybe I'll mention something in between but I just grabbed these painting tutorials from my um, storage room so that uh, I can share them with you. Again, I'll be linking in the description box below the link to the videos for all these paintings that I'll be showing you. Of course, some of you or most of you have already seen these painting videos, but maybe some of you haven't seen them. So I might as well share them again with you. And of course, this is also an opportunity for you to know something about me how I feel about my paintings and of course I'm showing you my favorites so expect that everything or most of the things that I'll be saying are positive so let's begin now again this is not ranked in any particular order in any particular manner I'm just gonna go and grab a painting and explain to you or say something about it again these are my tutorials you can paint along with me you can see the links in the description box below so let's start now. So I'm going to grab one painting. So this is a cactus painting. This is one of my favorites because as you can see here, I don't know if you noticed already in the background, I have a lot of plants going on in here. Actually, my plants are not um, enough. I mean, these are uh, not enough to fit in the camera. So, but I think some of you already know that I have plants. I do love plants. If you are my Facebook friend, you probably have an idea of what's going on with my garden, my home garden. So yeah, this is one of my favorite painting tutorials that I did. Actually, this is the very first time that I did a cactus painting. Um, and that was a tutorial and I was kind of proud of myself for doing something for the first time and on a video so yeah i i saw some other people already followed this painting tutorial of mine and i'm just so glad uh i hope you can comment down in the section in the comment section below if you've already painted along with me and if you already did this one so i really like this because of the roughness of the pot and the realistic vibe that it's giving me it's actually a good painting I can definitely display this in the background uh, to join my plant collection. So let me know in the comment section if you also like this painting or if you have painted along with me uh, a painting in this one. Yeah, so there you go. All right, so let's move on to my next favorite painting tutorial that I did. And as you know me, I love a painting. An eye. This is one of my latest eye paintings and I really like painting eyes because uh, as I've mentioned before in one of my videos, painting eyes is like painting water to me. I don't know, it does feel like I am painting water. Maybe because of the shiny, shiny thing going on in the eye. Um, that's why it makes me feel uh, as if I'm painting waters as well. So I hope you like this one. I'll be linking in the description box below the link to the video tutorial for this eye painting. I do have a lot of, not a lot, but I do have a few eye paintings, uh, painting tutorials that I've done. So it's just that this is one of my favorites among them. And of course, one of the latest ones. So yeah, I really like doing details like this, uh, you know, part of the skin and all those um, brilliant reflections in the uh, brilliant I just call that brilliant uh, all those um, uh, diamond like um, colors in the eye and yeah I don't like painting happy eye I don't know why I just like to paint a sad expressive eye maybe because um, 
uh, it is more a soulful than a happy eye. Of course, I love being happy, but when it comes to painting, I like to paint more emotional eyes, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you guys have a different idea from mine, but yeah, that's how I feel about painting eyes. So I hope you like this one as well because it's just one of my favorites. Let's move on to, uh, I, I was supposed, I was about to say pet painting, but I don't, I don't want to call this pet because this is a wildlife animal. So this is a turtle. I also like painting turtles. I've done a bunch actually, um, non-tutorial and tutorial um, paintings. And this is one of my tutorial um, paintings. So I hope you've done this one as well. If you did already, or if you have done this with me, please let me know in the comment section below. I really like this because as you know, just like painting the pot, the pot when I did the cactus painting, right? There's some roughness going on on the shell of the turtle. And I just love the natural feel uh, about this painting and the shadows, of course, you know me and the light and the shadows thing. I just love doing all of them. And for this turtle painting, um, there was really no right or wrong uh, when it comes to making the shell rough. Um, because I think as far as I remember, I used a palette knife for the shell um, for the last stages of the painting as far as i remember so if you've already done this painting or if you've painted along with me let me know in the comment section below so yeah i really like turtles guys next is a landscape one of my most recent landscapes i think this is also one of the first times i've ever done a uh, snow or winter landscape and yes i really like this one you know how much I love painting the light and I love painting the sunset. So as you can see, there are some shadows and there's some light going on. And yeah, this is one of my favorites um, when it comes to a landscape and winter landscape. So I hope you all, I think some of, me, some, of, uh, uh, some of you guys, if you're watching this, uh, some of you have already painted along with me doing this one and some have shown me their versions of this beautiful painting. I really like this one. I really like this one for myself even. So yeah, if you like this one, let me know. Okay, so let's move on to another plant painting because I'm obsessed guys about my plants. And also this is one of my most recent paintings. This one. It's a, uh, I think this is a rubber plant. This is a rubber plant. And you know how much I love my plants. And I think this really goes well with my plants in the background. So yeah, I hope you do this one as well. And I hope you like this as well. Even if you're not really doing the painting with me, I think, I mean, I'm hoping that you also like watching the videos. Sometimes I stress about uh, the colors while I'm painting. I don't know if you can sense that while watching my videos, but I still hope that you're enjoying watching them. Even if sometimes I'm, you kind of sense that I'm stressed already when it comes to colors. I don't know if some of you have noticed that. So there you go. This is one of my favorite plant paintings. Again, please uh, don't worry because I'll be linking in the description box below all the reference or all the uh, video links to all the paintings that I'll be showing you. So another landscape painting that is also one of my favorites because I love autumn guys. I love autumn and I think many people also like autumn and appreciate the colors of autumn. So here is one of my favorite painting tutorials. It's an autumn scene and there's a pathway and I've done a bunch of um, uh pathway painting tutorials and this is one of them so you can see here all the autumn awesome colors that you can find in nature we have all the oranges yellow and greens and browns and all the fallen leaves along the pathway and some light play a little light play going on so i hope you like this one and i hope you did this one as well with me so let me know in the comment section below if 
you like this autumn scene painting i've done quite a bunch of autumn paintings in the tutorials i mean yeah in my tutorial videos so you can also choose from them so next subject is actually not the usual subject because um i love a painting but i really don't like to stress so much about um repetitive uh repetitive portions of subject if you know what i mean just like doing droplets or doing um patterns but this one is quite uh new to me when i did this for the first time because i was doing a lot of repetitive um objects in the painting which includes this circular grape no not circular oval grapes so this was also the first time that i did a great grape painting um a video and a painting for my pleasure so i really like this one because again this is the first time that i did this one and it was for a video i did not stress so much i actually enjoyed doing this one and i remember um when i did this one i was not really in the mood to paint but i i felt that i i wanted to do something painting related uh so i chose something that has a uniform color uh almost a standard shape as you can see here everything is oval only a few um detailing like the branches but everything is all oval and green so yeah i hope you enjoy this one as well watching this or painting along with me so another painting i mean another landscape because i think i have more landscapes than anything else so uh, again this is um this involves a lot of light play and shadows so here is my favorite landscape painting tutorial so what i like about this one is the light that is involved as you can see there is some sun going on right here and i think i did some dry brushing techniques and i think i also used palette knife yeah definitely i, I would have used palette knife uh, i don't have to look at the video i just know if i use a palette knife here judging by the look of the painting i know that i use a palette knife for this one so mm, i hope you did this one as well i hope you enjoyed doing this one or watching the painting video for this one yeah i really like this one now now that i'm looking at it on camera i feel like hanging it on my own wall and displaying it here in my house because I kind of like it though. I kind of like this one. I didn't realize how beautiful this was until I raise it up and look at it as if it is a painting of some other person. <laughs> I don't know if you feel the same way about your painting. When you look at your painting, you feel that it's not really good. And then when you look at it again um, on another day, and then you realize it's really good it feels uh, this way guys so yeah so let me show you another painting one of my most recent paintings and of course you know how much i love uh, painting the waters and i love painting boats actually i have a playlist for my boat paintings and this is one of my favorite boat paintings Ta -da! it's so beautiful guys Actually, uh, I think this is one of my most popular videos among the recent ones. I'm not saying that this is the most popular among my videos, but this is one of the most popular among my recent videos. Uh, I really like the reflections in the water and the water effect in, I mean, the distant waters really made, really made me feel like they are distant and moving. Even if it's quite... Um, uh, peaceful a lake I feel like there's some sort of wind that makes the water move a little especially in the background and I really like how rustic the the boat is and I think no 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 not I think I'm sure that I use a palette knife for this one so I hope you enjoy this one as well and I hope you also do this one as well not just watching it but show me the version of your um the painting what i cannot speak guys let me see the versions of that painting if you painted along with me 
And I think this is the last piece that I'll be showing you as one of my favorite paintings because you know how much I love seascapes, guys. I love painting waves. So this is one of my favorites. Again, they're not ranked in any particular order. This is not my most favorite, but this is one of my most favorite painting tutorials that I did for you guys. So I love painting this one. As you can see here, there is a lot of movement going on. I use palette knife for this one, of course, because I usually use my palette knife when it comes to painting waves and foams and all those splashes that you see in the wave. And yeah, I just love the blues and everything here, guys. It's very, um, it's a moving picture. It's not really literally moving, but it definitely has some movement to it because of the water splashes and because of the approaching wave. So yeah. Yeah, I hope you like this one as well and I hope you do this one as well because I know that I have a lot of painting tutorials and you probably haven't seen all of them. So I think this is the, the opportunity for me to um, refresh your memory when it comes to what's uh, what may be found in my channel because I do have a lot. In fact, um, if I do another one, I will just keep repeating the subject, maybe in a different style or a different color. But basically, I'll be doing the same subject, a boat, a wave, a landscape, some trees, some light. So I think this is a good opportunity for me to give you a review of what you can paint along with me in my channel. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and i think that's it that's about it guys maybe i'll just do another uh video similar to this one and maybe a part two i don't know um i will judge by the way i feel on that day so again i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you paint along with me and i'll be linking in the description box below the video links for all these paintings and again guys thank you so much and see you in my next video bye guys